Yo, this is Bob Mr. Vegas, and right now you're watching Carrie Press. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, turn up loud. I don't see blessing, Carrie Press, I get the blessing. Hello, hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, all party fans, all party animals. You know, we are here today, King Zion, representing for Carrie Press newspaper magazine, right? Venice Beach, California. We're here today with the man of the hour. Okay, we're with the man of the hour, Mr. Vegas. Mr. Auntie, come on, brother. One, you know, first of all, I love this shirt. <laughs> you understand? So, how are you doing today, Bridging? How, how the scenery? How, how are you looking? Yeah. I'm posting over this year, you know, hanging out at the beach, doing some work as usual, you understand? Promoting the album. This is that September 23rd. What is the difference with the album and putting out singles at the time? What, well, well uh, now I think the world is interested, more interested in singles because people compile basically their own album. You know, so to go in the studio and make an album like how I want to make an album, um, it takes a lot of money. Yeah, and it takes a lot of resources, you know. So we just realize what's going on in the world, and we just try to keep with the times, you know, instead of spending, you know, a load of money, you know, getting producers, you know, all kind of stuff, and then you download only a thousand copies. You know, it doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're, you're, you're dipping into the school, the, the kids' school money, you know. You know what? I'm glad you bring up that fact, better. I'm glad you bring up that fact because we're here to talk about Mr. Vegas and music. But just because you tip the subject of this kids' them school money, what about? The, the economic and the, the schooling down in Jamaica right now because you know say in Jamaica we always teaching the kids and younger adults stay at school right. make sure say pass the subjects common entrance all of that how you feel like the school system or what do they need because you know say Jamaica is always on top of the education that us as well I think, I think right now I think you know the government are actually working towards you know, getting free education and people are, you know, actually, you know, advocating for that, you know. Free education, you know, you know, which is very important because education is key right now. Um, you know, you need an education right now to, to survive in this world right now, you know. And, and we want Jamaica to be, you know, one of those countries, you know, where people are just, you know, literate, you know, up to the max, you know. Right. I just think when we have the right education, we'll get the right education, you know, we can compete with the rest of the world, you know, which is important. We, we want the government to give it free schooling. New paint building, everything, books, computers, right? The, the school need that because Jamaica always on top of the chart. How long now have Mr. Vegas been in the building? How many years? Because honestly, for me, a toddler. <laughs> me, I listen to Mr. Vegas, I can't even You know what? Um, this year happens to be like you know my 20th year since. Um, you know, the end of this year happens to be my 20th year since we released um, Nike here, you know, so it's been a long journey, you know, but it's still going strong, you know. What do you always do to make sure that the people them love the performance? Because there's so many different artists that's out here now, right? There's so many different artists where sometimes I have to do anything quick just to get out, right? <laughs> what do you do to stay relevant comparing that you have been in the business so long already and all these new faces coming? What does Mr. Vegas do so relevant to keep you in the business? Well, you know what? I do love the music, you know, on a different level. You understand? I really, really cherish this music. I, you know, you know, when I go into the studio, I, I go on a stage, you know. It's all about the music for me, because I grew up on this music, I grew up to love this music. So, you know, that is it just for me, the love of the music. So when I go out there and I see the crowd, I want to give them 100%, not just 25%, and go home. And I get real upset when I cannot give them 100%. So if, it, if, if the system and all that stuff is up to date, I get real mad because I want to give my fans 100% of the time. I had the chance to watch you in a performance. I haven't seen you in a while in Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Uh, how was the crowd? How was the crowd? Did they get any, you know, did they feel like uh, No, no, the, the, vibe, the, vibe, the vibe, the vibe, the vibe, you know, we actually work with the system um, because you know some system you need to meet up on some system we have to put up a little extra. Yeah. You know, so we always we always prepare for that. You understand to put out the extra to make people more on time and time. That is all. Is Mr. Vegas ever tired of being on the stage? Is Mr. Vegas still have a whole heap of fire in a depart? We never see Mr. Vegas fan uh sound fest and you know say jump. Jamaica and some place are the biggest con reggae carnival on well, the island. Right. So what 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 happened? We didn't well, I, think, I think I think the rest of the world, you know, um, want to see Mr. Vegas as well. Oh, okay. You know, so of course, you know, sometimes they're in Europe, sometimes they're in Los Angeles, New Zealand, West Coast. You know, so we're all in the place, you know, we did it two years ago. 